Hey, it's Joe Glass Beyondbender, and today I have a pretty cool script. I think it's pretty awesome for both for noobs and for people who have been using AutoHotKey a long time. It's pretty interesting. And what it does, you can get at the URL above me here. It allows you to very quickly search across all running AutoHotKey scripts and pull in either hotkeys or hot strings. And it also allows you to jump to them. Let's go ahead and get to the script here. So um, this is the this tool, so I know it's a mouthful, auto hotkey string lookup, but it's both for hotkeys and hot strings. And so once it's launched, you can come in here and I can type, I can type like decode, oops, decode, and see how it's filtering, right? And it's filtering what's visible, so I could easily see it. Um, I can come in here and I can filter by just hotkeys or hot strings, which is nice. I can pick the files if I want to and just jump to a given file. And actually, what I was... I was gonna, I was gonna update one of my scripts because I'm like, hey, this uh, Joe menu, it has like this comment out here and this jump to. I don't use these anymore. So this is really cool. Is you can double click and it will pull it up in all basically any editor and jump to that line, right? So this is pretty awesome. So it looks at a couple like Studio and VS Code and programmatically does. And I can't remember if Insight maybe we handled that one as well. I, we wrote it quite a while ago. Uh, I just haven't shared it and. It, um, anyway, so it's pretty cool. So I can comment that out, which actually, in reality, I would want to comment out, you know, while I'm here. This has nothing to do with the script, right? But I'm going to comment all of that out because those are not, and this is nothing either. So anyway, so I'm going to save that, and let me reload. There's another functionality I should demonstrate. Oh, that's wrong. That's my other, that's my hub. Let me exit out of that one. So I'm going to reload that, and... We can disable hot keys or hot strings, uh, but of course, when you exit the script, it turns that off. Uh, but what other thing is cool is if you go under File here in Preferences, you can tell it to basically not search. Like my spell check, you know, that's the, the standard spell check with a couple extra ones for me, but it has like 4,000 hot strings in it, right? So why would I want to go across 4,000? You know, I just don't want that one here at all. Um, and then there's other ones like Studio and um, the actual hot key, that one I could have in there, but if it, it will warn you if it doesn't detect that there's a hot key or a hot string in a script. And so like this button clock, there's no hot keys in there. So I like to just disable those and you can save it. Oh, the other thing I should have mentioned was in there. And, and if you saw, like if I close this, it doesn't exit, right? So that's the question mark here. Control shift F brings it up. That's because right here, oh, sorry, here, I have Control Shift F as my hotkey to pull up that master menu. So you can, of course, customize that to what you want. You basically go in there, and as long as it's not the Windows key, you can Control Shift. I'm just hitting the keys, and it'll, it'll. Oops. Oh, that's funny because that was the script. It, uh, it tried to run it itself. Uh, so, but you get the idea, right? I think for noobs, a lot of new people get really. Let me switch back here. Um, I don't know why my webcam wasn't on on the other one, but a lot of noobs start using auto hotkey and they go, wow, this is amazing. I'm going to create a bunch of like hotkeys to do something or hot strings. And then they forget what they are. All right, let's go back into the, the code here. Um, I realized you can um, do one other thing I should have mentioned is how the these things, the, the values are gathered. So let's just pick something like this decode URL. So I'm going to double click it. It should navigate right to it. So you see it down here. Alt U is going to say decode your Now, this is an inline comment, right? That inline comment is what it gets brought back into this window. The hot strings, which I'm filtered on hot keys, the hot strings, let me just see if we can see a couple here. They will be the uh, the text, you know, of what what's actually there, uh, the, the shortcut and the text value. But the hot keys are, you know, the things you really have to make sure you, the hot strings, you know, this stuff is automatically brought in. But hot keys, you have to make sure you go in and add them. Um, and if you notice, uh, all my hot keys are defined. Why is that? Because I use this tool to go in and update them. So I just find one that didn't have a definition, double click it, and then go, it jumps me right there, and add a comment. And so noobs, I think, are going to find this really, really helpful because it helps you understand what you're working on and make it very easy to remember. Um, and so you just come in here for the preferences, change that hot key, choose which ones you want, hit save. Um, and actually, let's see here. I think you can right-click on a given thing, and you can disable a hot key. I don't think we built that for hot strings, but for hot keys, you can disable them. Uh, let's see if I disable that. Um, and then when we go to exit, let me uh, come here and say exit. You'll see 
all hotkeys previously disabled by on hotkey stream lookup will now be re-enabled. So if you are having trouble with a given strip and you don't know how to open it where there's a hotkey, you can use this tool to come in and um, disable that hotkey. However, when you kill this script, it will no longer disable that hotkey. So hope you enjoy it. Cheers.